Hey guys, you're welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Nenye is a evil babe for life, and you're welcome to get another video. If you're new to my channel, my name is Nanya Eze. I'm a YouTuber based in Canada, Calgary. <laughs> I almost said Abuja. <laughs> Anyways, I'm a new immigrant, basically. So that's what this video is about. So yeah, and you're welcome to my channel. Please do not make it your last. Do not leave this channel without subscribing. Okay, we don't do that here. We watch the videos till the end, and we also watch the adverts too. That's what we do on this channel. Please show me your support, and I'll be at the comment section waiting for you guys. And yeah, don't forget to subscribe. I know I said that already, but please do not forget to subscribe. Anyways, welcome to my channel. To my returning subscribers, you guys already know. Okay, like you guys are the best. Thank you so much for always coming back to watch me. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. Anyways, guys, before I begin this video, let me start by saying thank you to my 2,000 plus subscribers. Yes, we hit 2K, you guys. <laughs> I'm so excited. Thank you so much to all my new subscribers. You guys are the best. Thank you for subscribing. I appreciate it. So, yeah, just like the title says, I'm going to be answering you guys' questions on um, my relocation and my journey and my process to Canada okay so that's what this video is about so if you're interested please sit down and watch do not click out okay so yeah if you see me looking down on my phone is because i have to read out the questions and also answer them from my phone what is that is that sweat i'm seeing jesus i'm already sweating and <laughs> anyways you guys let me go to my community and then i'll answer all your questions about my relocation okay i don't know if it's okay but i'm going to be mentioning you guys names because i mean you guys are my family so i want this to be a bit you know direct or personal like i'm talking to you you know so i'm going to be calling you guys names at the same time answering your questions so yeah okay so at days they all be asked how long did it take to process your relocation from the time of planning to the actual relocation and travel day okay this is like three questions in one how long it took to process our relocation was basically about eight to nine months if i'm not mistaken yes my husband has a study visa and i have a working permit so the whole process of the whole getting the admission applying sorry applying first then getting the admission to also applying for us and everything everything took about nine months but then when we decided that we're going to travel it was just two weeks you guys i had just two weeks to plan my relocation yes so anyways and that's it i hope i answered your question nine months for the whole process then when we decided that we had the money and we were ready to travel was two weeks though my husband went first then we later joined in he came to get us so basically that's it i had two weeks to prepare i just i just want to make that clear so that you guys will know how strong i am okay you think it's easy to take just two weeks to relocate yourself and your children to another country it's not easy <laughs> let me stay that here anyways the next question was for Neasa. i don't know if i pronounced that well but you know sometimes english is not for everybody so if i did not pronounce that well i'm sorry oh she's like first of all you are too cute and you're actually doing well because it's not easy with your new reality of taking care of kids alone your new land will favor you guys amen thank you so much you guys i've been seeing a lot of prayers on my journey and i really do appreciate all these prayers because i don't know if i put that here i really take my god my religion my christian life my prayer life very very serious so whenever i get prayers like this it really touches my heart because in everything you do you need prayers because this world like you cannot even go on in life without praying like you need prayers and every step you make in life so thank you so much Nia. i really appreciate these prayers and amen to that prayers so the next question is from just cheesy she said how long did it take for you to get accommodation after landing and how's job hunting over there hard or easy 
then on that one we'll be going for biometrics with my family by next week basically guys the accommodation thing eh, was by the grace of god okay we had this friend of ours that came through for us that literally already secured an apartment even before we got to calgary so it was almost like the house was sitting there waiting for us all thanks to our friend becky like she came through for us to you know get an apartment then we you know we did the payments um i think when we got here we paid and um yeah that's how we got an apartment even before landing canada if you have someone here i think it would be nice to actually reach out to the person and say oh please i don't know if you can reach out for like an apartment and all we can talk to the person we can even pay maybe even though it's half or you know just you know to secure the apartment down so that you guys may not you know be stranded when you come here so i think that's a good one that's a good one if you ask me yeah job hunting over there is it hard or easy hmm okay you guys some people come to this youtube and they lie i've been watching some people's videos and they're just like mm -mm -mm -mm. Um, it's not easy oh. <laughs> it's not easy let me tell you guys from the onset job hunting is not as easy as you think okay wait let me put out a disclaimer out there i don't know if it's easy for some people and i don't know if it's not easy for some people but i'm talking about my own experience it's not really been so easy you know there's a lot of jobs here don't get me wrong there's a lot of jobs here okay you just have to apply and then sometimes the application for them for you to get to them for them to process it it will take some time before they even get back to you and sometimes they don't get back to you at all so <laughs> so it's not it's not as easy as you think okay so job hunting it could be hard it could be easy i would say when you get here just start applying fast because sometimes it takes some time before they get back to you so start applying immediately get on your indeed get on your job recruiter um did i say that well get on your linkedin just you know start applying start applying because some more sometimes it takes long so job hunting is not as easy as it thinks for me yeah my own experience so yeah anyways she said she'll be going for biometrics her family i wish you good luck cheesy i hope you get in amen okay the next question is oh my god this video is going to be long oh <laughs> god the questions choke anyways the next question is hi Naya, how are you doing today you look so beautiful by the way mm -hmm, thank you my questions are how did you get um visa approval at once considering canada really gives visas to the whole family at once especially when it's via study second question is can you please share how much your apartment costs in calgary and how many bedrooms we'll be glad if you share because not everyone is comfortable sharing Thank you for that last part because not everybody is comfortable sharing i know this anyways i'm doing very very great today thank you thank you for asking okay i don't know i think i've said it in my previous question but maybe it wasn't so detailed so i'm just gonna answer it right now okay so my husband came in here with a um, study visa then i have a working visa most times actually it's very hard for you to come in once as a family but what we did is because my husband does not like staying far away from this babe of course who would want to stay far away from me i'm a speck okay <laughs> he will keep me where he wants this part anyways um once he got his visa to study here then he applied for us immediately he applied a working visa for his wife and um, his children and lucky enough my visa came out in two months you guys they said it's very very rare but like, i was so happy my visa came out in just two months like it was faster than we expected so it was because the visa was faster than expected that's why we we're able to come in together yeah though he came in first i said that before he came in first but then he came to get us so we came in together basically so it was just by the grace of god that the visa came out early yeah so my visa and the kids visas came out in two months so yeah so how much i'm paying in the apartment i'm staying right now i'm not really comfortable disclosing that information but um i could reach out to you via dms and you know give you like a price estimate of apartments close by basically their rates and you know what they take here so i think that is the best i can do as i cannot come and put my exact thing that i am paying in this abroad that i am so yeah thank you jella jones for engaging so yeah so maurice blessing is asking you're really oh not a question it's a compliment you're really beautiful and your skin is popping watched you grow and i'm proud of you thank you so much maurice blessing i really appreciate the compliment thank you anyways 
So the next question is from my girl, OG. Yeah, OG Space. She's saying, hey, darling, hope you're not finding it hard to settle and adapt to your new environment. It's hard. I need a house help in my life. <laughs> okay you guys um i'm not finding it hard but it's you know it's a new phase in my life um i've always had a help with me you know with the kids and all so it's a bit um overwhelming sometimes but eventually i think i'll get used to it i don't get choice i just have to right so yeah but it's okay so far thank you so much baby girl guys in case you're seeing a sarcastic face on my screen I'm a big fan. Funny enough, I didn't like him before. All of a sudden, I started liking him. I don't know why. Maybe because my hobby is a big fan. So, yeah. Anyways, that's not that's not the point of the day. Just wanted to state that out. So, the next question is, what are your biggest culture shock? I don't know if I know my biggest culture shock. I do not know. Hey, God. This question. Guys, to be sincere, I had to pause this video to go and check the meaning of culture shock because this babe... <laughs> Anyways, my biggest culture shock is basically the food. I think that's the only thing I can only say is a culture shock for me. Because, okay, we had to get their yeah, noodles, like Canadian noodles. And it's different from what I'm used to, you know. It's not like it's not nice. It's nice, but the cooking way is different. In fact, the rice, I forgot to tell you guys, the rice is different. The rice is so soft, like it could be soggy sometimes. It has a way to cook it. If you don't cook it that way, it will end up being soft and soggy. So the food basically is basically my culture shock. So I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I need to get into details. Anyways, yeah. So Ineka Wonsu is asking, what immigration route did your family relocate with? Sorry, guys, I wasn't thinking when I answered this question, but the immigration route I and my family took was a study permit and a temporary permit, working permit. Well, immigration routes. I don't know if I know the immigration route, though, but all I know is that we use a study visa and a working permit to come to this place. But the immigration routes, I'm, that I'm not sure of. You know what? When I get the answer, I'll actually come to this community and then I'll reply your question, okay? If that's okay. Because I don't know the answer and I, and I don't want to say what I don't know. So you know so yeah so our days the obby is asking if i videoed or i documented the relocation process yes i did please go down to my videos okay you'll see from when i started moving from my packing vlog everything i documented everything about this relocation process so go and watch it okay i did video the whole process so yeah so it called daniel ah they are asking questions and they're like asking again i like that the engagement is nice Eka Daniel is asking, do you think Canada is worth the hype or not? Hmm, this question. Okay, see, let me tell you guys. Canada is worth the hype and it's also not worth the hype. Do you, do you get it? Like, it's the both ways. I come in here, it's such a beautiful place. I would not lie. But sometimes things are not, you know, the way they seem to be or the way I expected it to be, you know. So I would say yes and no, you understand? So it has like two answers. So, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, the next question is from Just Cheesy. These are the same people asking me. What airline did you take and what was the cost, please? Did you travel on study visa, permanent residence, or visitor's visa? Okay, I've answered these questions plenty of times, Sha. But I'll still answer you because you're amazing and you, know, you keep on engaging. Thank you so much, Cheesy. So the airline we used was Lufthansa Airline. If you are watching my vlogs, you would have seen it because I posted it there. So... And the cost basically was about how much did Lufthansa even charge us? Okay, basically what we paid was a lot. Uh, it was a lot of money, I can remember. Okay, you know what? I'm going to, you know, message you directly and answer your question because I'm not sure of the exact amount. I can only tell you like it was from guys. We actually paid 1.2 million per person, not 600. 600 they're about yeah i guess i'm not sure i don't want to say what i don't know i'll actually answer your question directly so yeah i just don't want to you know say what i'm not sure so yeah but i know it was plenty money and i'm not the one that booked the flight so i need to ask anyways yeah the next question was google late to my I, I don't know how to pronounce this but i'm going to write it on the screen because you're amazing thank you for engaging in this um q and a but um, you asked, I'm new to the channel and I'm patiently waiting for your next video. How is the cost of living in Canada? Well, if you're a big babe, you are willing to enjoy yourself. You are willing to lavish your life. Go to Toronto because Toronto is so fucking expensive. <laughs> I'm not supposed to use the cost word here, but 
Toronto is expensive. Cost of living is actually high in Toronto, Vancouver, and um, yeah, some other places. But I stay in Calgary, so I can speak for Calgary. Okay, so the cost of living is actually not so bad. Just that when I was talking to you know people that have been in Calgary for a longer period of time, they were telling me that the cost of living is actually increasing. Yes, because people are you know relocating from um toronto or people are coming from nigeria different countries and you know they are starting to reside more in calgary so the cost of living in calgary is actually you know increasing but for now it's not so bad you understand but it could increase so yeah okay so k stitches is asking what route did you and your family take to get into canada well me and my family took a study visa then my husband's study visa gave us a working visa gave me a working visa so yeah that is the route we used esther okar for is asking did you move to canada as a pr or an international student basically my partner is an international student and i have a working visa so yeah so chama obina is asking tell me your process and why did you choose to relocate well my process was true if <laughs> <laughs> was through a study visa that's how i got a working permit so my husband has a um, study permit and i have a working visa and the process took about nine months yes eight to nine months of the whole process you know getting admission applying sorry applying for admission getting the admission and also you know trying to you know do our own you know visas and all everything took about nine months i think i'll just say 10 because sometimes things could delay and also yeah well we chose to relocate because you know we wanted to and it was you know a great way for our family to move forward and also because my husband has a study visa to do his masters so since he was doing his masters we decided to join him so basically that was why we chose to relocate plus you guys already know the situation of things in our country so i don't need to go into details because you guys know what's up if you're in nigeria you know what's up claire kelly is asking when did you and your family realize you need to leave nigeria was hoping i'd make some cute outfits for you and maybe hang out with you sometimes oh my god thank you so much thank you so much i love that oh i love gifts i'll reach out to you personally regarding this message and me and my family decided we had to leave nigeria when my husband got his visa okay his study visa it was a you know it was a conversation i and my husband had you know to actually grow ourselves grow our family because we're a young family we have young kids so my husband came in here so he could school you know better his um his career while at the same time get his wife also to come in here because i plan on going to school too later much later so yeah so basically there was not really any like particular time that we decided we wanted to leave nigeria so yeah that's it so jessica okala is asking did you go through work permits yes jessica i went through work permits yes percy tony is also asking why did you prefer canada i don't know i've always loved canada growing up i've always loved canada because canada is so peaceful it's such a beautiful place to grow your kids it's you know there's no gun violence it's just a peaceful place you know yeah it's so peaceful so that's why i thought of canada so yeah so Yagazi yeah, is asking, I don't know if I'm pronouncing this name well. If I'm not, I'm sorry. Please try and correct me if you can. I don't know if you can because it's comment. But I'm sorry if I did not pronounce it right. So yeah. Yagazi yeah, is asking, what state are you from? Well, I'm Naya is a evil babe for life. Okay, I'm from Anambra State. I'm married to an Enugu man. So basically, I'm from Anambra State personally but my husband is enugu so i have like two states now anambra and enugu but anambra babe for life you know representing my people always and forever claire kelly is asking why not uk okay <laughs> okay to think that actually love uk i'm a lover like i'm a lover for uk i love united kingdom so much because i've been there once when i was little i think around 14 years old and i told myself i'm coming back to uk this time permanent to stay but you know at the same time i found new love in canada and like i said it's a very very peaceful place uk is peaceful too but i don't know for some reason we chose canada so i don't even know the particular answer to that question but uk is a great place i do have people there i can always go into uk whenever i want to so it's not like i'm not going to uk so uk is at my beck and call so i can always go there so 
yeah anyways that is it for all the questions i hope i answered you guys well this is my first q and a you guys like i don't know i've never done a q and a because i'm not the type that is so comfortable about personal questions being asked i think that's one of the reasons i've not done any q and a but eventually i will do a q and a so yeah there was one question i deleted from my community but I've forgotten the person that asked the question, but I'm just going to answer it anyways. I don't know. The person asks, why don't you show your husband on your channel? Okay, not everybody is comfortable with being out there, out there. Showing him is not really what I want to do now. Maybe with time, I will show him on my vlogs just a bit. Or who knows? We might probably do a video together. Who knows? So, yeah, that's it. Anyways, we're done with the questions. Thank you so much everyone who engaged in this Q&A. You guys are the best. I really do appreciate everything. And let me say thank you again to my 2,000 plus subscribers. You guys are the best. Thank you so much. Like <laughs> me, like this, I have 2K people that are watching me, watching all these things that I'm doing. Wow. <laughs> Must be nice. Anyways, thank you so much. And I do appreciate you guys. And yeah. So if you've watched until this point, thank you so, 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 so much. I'm talking like Lydia Stanley. <laughs> Anyways, if you've watched until this point, thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. And please do not leave this channel without subscribing, okay? We do not do that here. We normally subscribe and we normally turn on the bell. And we normally watch videos to the end, you know? And we also watch the adverts too, so yeah. <laughs> anyways thank you so much i'm going to see you guys in my next video bye guys